This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. And joining me right now is Dr. Michael Byron. He is the president and CEO of Nighthawk Gold. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, NHK on the TSX and MIMZF on the OTCQX. Dr. Byron, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, and thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you. So let's start with a very quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. At Nighthawk Gold, we're a junior exploration company, right? And we've got our projects in Northwest Territories of Canada. Uh, it's a sort of a brownfields, greenfields play around a former producer. So part of the story is, is bringing new life into the former producer, but also equally as important is showing the value of the land package that it sits in. And uh, we believe it's the next, uh, it's the growth or, or the, uh, the evolution of, of, a, of a gold camp. And, and we, we are fortunate enough to have you know, pretty much all of it tied up. Um, so that's, that's really who we are. It, it's, a, it's a gold story. It's a new gold story, but it's uh, not unfamiliar to investors. You're looking at a former producer, but uh, also all the ground around the former producer and trying to work them in tandem. So I, we actually did an interview last year at, at last year's Precious Metal Summit. So I'd love to get an update. What, what would you say are some of the company's corporate highlights of the last 12 months or so? Well, most recently on uh, July 28th, we put out a, a, a news release. And that was really our, our, our most recent uh, mineral resource estimate. And that would have been our fourth since we uh, acquired our, our flagship asset, if you will, Colmac. Um, and each one has been an evolutionary process, obviously. The more work we've done, the more we've understood what we're dealing with. But this one was really an evolutionary step uh, where we, we really advanced the deposit. We defined both an underground and an open pit resource, which hadn't been done in the past. In the past, we just had a global inferred resource. So that was a big takeaway for us to begin to, to start talking about an underground opportunity um, as well as an open pit opportunity. And further to that, all our other previous resources were inferred, and this one is largely indicated. About 82% of the resource is now indicated. And uh, in constraining, obviously, um, you lose some ounces, but you increase the grade, but you increase the confidence of your resource and, and the in-situ value of your resource. It's obvious it's indicated ounces are worth more. So that was a, a huge takeaway, and it gives us a fantastic platform for growth, right? We can begin now to really explore this asset knowing that we're looking for two opportunities in underground and open pit, and, and we try to bring life to those. And then, uh, that's, sorry, go ahead. No, no, keep going. Did you have more to add there? No, basically, that, I mean, from, from that point onward, we're active now with three drills on site where we uh, did have a bit of a hiatus due to the COVID uh, situation. Uh, we addressed that, got back up and running. Three drills are going. We're gonna finish probably about 25,000 meters uh, this year, some on Colmac and some of one, on one of our satellite targets, and just get prepped to really advance and be more aggressive with the drill next year. And real quick, just to remind our audience, you know, what would you say makes the company and your projects unique and different compared to your peers out there? Well, I think for us is, is as you know, as a junior, it's very, very hard. It's impossible to to get a large footprint in an established mining camp. So, what you try to do if you have those sorts of ambitions is to find one before anyone else has gotten busy. And uh, that's really what we've done. And, and that dates back to 2009 and 10 when we first started working in this camp. But seeing the opportunity that it was very much, uh, you know, it is a, a gold camp, an Archean gold camp, but no one else but us was really in there looking at consolidating it. So that gave us sort of free reign to grab all the ground that we wanted and that we thought had value, including the former producer Colmac and tie it all up and move forward where you know, we own everything 100%. There's no option payments, earnings, royalties to speak of. It's a pretty solid ownership. And we're now moving most of that ground from uh, mineral claims to mineral leases, 21-year uh, mineral leases, which gives us the strongest level of ownership you can get. get. And the carrying costs for that is about 150000 uh, Canadian dollars a year to maintain that ground for essentially, uh, you know, 21 years and beyond. So from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? Well, um, we're obviously we're drilling. So, I mean, we're continu keep continuing to add to the resource. And one of the things that the, um, uh, the resource authors came out with um, is called an exploration target. 
Um, so it's an area outside of your resource, your inferred and indicated resource, and, and you didn't have enough drill density to get it into an, a resource category, but you knew you had one or two drills in there, so you know the mineralization is there. So they basically put together an exploration target and uh, as defined as if we could drill 50 to 75,000 more meters, we could add a million to a million and a half ounces at the same grades. So, you know, we're starting to work on that as we speak. Some of the holes that we're drilling now are addressing some of that. And we figure we can get about 20,000 of those meters done this year. And then we'll segue into next year and, and really begin to add ounces at an accelerated rate into this deposit. And with that, where can our audience go and find everything that they need to know about Nighthawk Gold? Well, they can certainly go to our website, uh, nighthawkgold.com. We have, uh, it's up to date. We have a, a lot of information on our, not only our core asset, but our satellite assets, uh, as well as a lot of maps and diagrams so, so that people can follow along with our storyline. Well, Dr. Byron, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck, stay safe, and I look forward to our next update. Hey, it's a pleasure. It's a lot of fun. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are a proud media sponsor for the Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek being held virtually this year. Again, uh, Dr. Byron will be there doing a presentation on Nighthawk Gold, and thank you all for listening.